my abdomen was aching. I could feel my left side more than any part of my body, as if someone was holding me really tight. Today is 30th of August. Today is my fifth day on my journey to fitness. Today I'm planning to run again. Also, I just checked my my data. I have completed 13 kilometers um, in three days of running, and yesterday was a rest day. So you know, I'm thinking my I want to really push myself and do seven kilometers today, and probably total 20 kilometers. So can I do it? Have I run seven kilometers before? No, I've run 10 kilometers probably in 2015 or 16 i'm not sure i need to check that data i'll make a video on that but i'm going to try seven kilometers it's hot sunny but i'm feeling okay so i don't i feel i should do it i mean that's the way we have to look at this i'm putting it out there i want to do seven kilometers let's see what happens man <music> So I've completed my warm-up, happy with that, it's been about 7 minutes, let's see if I'm able to achieve something more today or I'll just go with a, a slow paced run and of course 5k is minimum now, I've done it twice so I think it should, it should be the standard now, the bar is set 5k or no case. All right, let's go. So I completed three kilometers so far and it feels like I was running the run from two days ago. My legs a bit tired, feeling my thighs and calves a bit. 3K completed. The body wants to quit. You know, I won't let that happen. Not something you see on a run. Things like that will motivate you. You see others running faster. You see someone doing something you've never done before. That pushes you. Thanks for that chap. I needed it. At five kilometers, I was in a bit of trouble. Suddenly, my abdomen was aching. I could feel my left side more than any part of my body, as if someone was holding me really tight. I guess this is what they call cramps. And I've never had one in my abdomen before. Probably the cause is overtraining, as I've never trained like this before. Nothing too much, but it was definitely new for me. Maybe. I just need to break this barrier. Ow. I'm getting some kind of pain over here. Oh. Okay, let's see, I'll try. I'm not giving up. Feels amazing to say this. But I'm actually achieving what I thought. I'm actually progressing because I see it I want it no excuses and also I'm letting you guys know so I'm trying very hard for this not to be an embarrassment and I'm achieving thank you for watching Let's just check. Oh my goodness. I've done it. I've done it. I can run some more. I can really run some more. But I won't. So I stopped at 7k, happy with my performance, hydrated myself, and called it a day.
Coconut water to replenish your electrolytes. It's a good source of several nutrients from magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, and abundant in potassium. It is for these reasons that it boosts cardiac and kidney health. Of course, coconut water contains carbs and sugar as well. In 250 ml of coconut water, there are around 8 grams of sugar. So some energy to replenish you on the go. I'm going to be using a lot of coconut water during and after my exercises. A natural replacement like none other.